So after feeding the raccoons, I finally figured it out. What we did was we took the standard Moultrie rodent guard. We took it, we attached it like normal. But then I took two bands of chicken wire and I surrounded feeder thrower. And then what we did, you zip tie the bottom and the sides because you can, as you can see, zoom in here, they try to push their hands in and they push this away, but they don't like getting their hands in there. I, I don't know if it's the feel or what, but they do not like all this jumbled mess. This has completely revolutionized and changed the way we get attacked by raccoons. Every once in a while, they'll come in and they'll feed at the base. I'm fine with that. What I didn't like was them getting on the equipment. So now we've got zip tied chicken wire on the inside. I've got an open bottom so I can still check my times, make adjustments to my feeder thrower, uh, make sure the battery is good, make sure the solar's good, everything stays as standard, but they will stop climbing this, they'll give up on it. It's been over a year, I have had no raccoons climb this thing. I've done it to a few other feeders in the club, same thing, they might come in, they might try it first, but before you know it, you're done. So, Moultrie, if you make money off of this, you owe me. I'm just stamping it now. Guys, do this to your feeders and enjoy.